Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna try to photograph Star Trails, the real one this time, but with a small twist with a smartphone. So many of you are asking for smartphone photography. Okay, but uh, photography is photography. Whatever you use, smartphone or a point and shoot camera or a big DSLR. It's not, not that big, you go like, close like the, a big DSLR like this, now it's big. So, as you may realize, we are at winter now. It's February, it's winter. Can you take photos of the Milky Way? Yes, of the arm of the Milky Way, not really the center of it, but you can do it. But what I like to do during winter, it's making star trails. I actually did one by faking in Photoshop star trails, but today, let's do a real one with a smartphone. So, the most important homework that you have to do is check the weather. You have to avoid all the clouds. It's really important to avoid all the clouds, okay? You have been warned. Another thing that you're gonna need, it's hold down your camera. It, it shouldn't move or it shouldn't do anything. In this case, I am using my big tripod but you can use something like GoPro sticker like this with a smartphone adapter or, or a Gorilla Pod or you can duct tape it like so with this kind of duct tape you must be wondering why I taped ND filter to my smartphone it's because I didn't screen capture while I was taking the picture and now I'm trying to simulate uh, roughly the conditions of the sky that night with an LED panel that is over here I want to you imagine that uh, each individual LED it's a star in the sky okay and we're gonna try to correct our exposure to get the best star trails of them all in the beginning I was planning to photograph the North Pole star and uh, make a star trail out of it but uh, the big problem with that that my location was next to a lake and the humidity of the lake was climbing up and I couldn't shoot in that direction so second best thing it's the middle of the sky where the north hemisphere and the south hemisphere sky hemisphere I don't know if that term exists but here we go uh, it's in the point where the star starting to make a curve like this and the other one like this okay well I imagine that you already saw that I am not using an external lens like the one that I used to photograph the Milky Way wider is the angle of the lens less risk of star trails exist there is there a really simple rule to calculate that you divide the 35 millimeters equivalent of your lens by 500 so this cell phone it's about 35 millimeters equivalent okay google 500 divided by 35 the answer is approximately 14.286 what is this 14 number it's the amount of seconds that you have without star trails so if i was shooting the milky way i only have a window of 14 seconds to get a sharp center of the galaxy to keep that in mind if i want star trails i have to stay longer than 14 seconds how long you ask well i stay there taking pictures for one freaking really cold hour but seriously around 10 minutes it's enough but if you really want a long beautiful star trails you have to stay longer yes you have you have to stay much longer so I, I wasn't alone I was with Jack with me Jack was with, with me uh, a buddy of mine was with me so yeah sorry Jack I know you were cool what I did is I went directly to 30 seconds and I will try to control the exposure with the ISO okay so let's do this to make a proper simulation 
I have to be in the dark. The first thing is that you need a juicy battery. I am at 38% here. It won't be enough for staying like an hour taking pictures. But uh, this is only a simulation, so it's okay. So let's try to get the best battery of my smartphone. So I go the, the lightning, I'm gonna put it to zero. Okay, now, and I'm gonna put it in airplane mode. Turn it on. In location, what, what I did is that I plugged my battery bank to my smartphone and duct tape it to the tripod. If I want to stay like four hours there, I would. Now, what I'm gonna do also, it's make it in silence. So if I had some notifications that will come up or something or whatever, um, the cell phone won't vibrate because if it vibrates, if it moves, it will ruin your shot. Let's jump to the camera. Here we go. So I am using the LG native camera because it's a really good app to photograph. I'm gonna suggest other ones on the, on the comments. Please check out if your smartphone can do fully manual exposure because it's really important. So, as I said, my shutter speed is the max of this phone. That means it's 30 seconds. I know that some smartphones go at max 10 seconds, but it's okay. You're gonna just take more pictures. What I'm gonna do now is go to the autofocus and just focus into the infinity. And the white balance. Well, the white balance, uh, it's kind of a um, personal thing. If you are around 5200, 5500, uh, Kelvin, it's about good, honestly, it, 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 on my case won't make any difference because I am photographing in DNG or RAW, so I don't care. Okay, what I'm gonna try to do now is make my frame. So I'm gonna crank up a little bit the ISO, something like uh, 800, and uh, take some pictures around to try to get the best frame possible. Well then, now I want to get the maximum details of everything else than the stars. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make different shots to get the best exposure. In my case, it's the trees. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump stop by stop on the ISO. I'm gonna start at 200, then I'm gonna go one more stop, 400, one more stop, 800, and one more stop. 1600, it's way too much, but for, just to be sure, I'm gonna take it anyway. Well, everyone, let's focus, try to get the start rails now. So what I'm gonna do, try to get the slowest ISO and get the maximum details of the stars. So, I'm gonna show you as an example. This is the one of the pictures that I did took during that night. As you can see, everything is black. Not really. If I zoom in, as you can see, I have some star details. Okay? And these details are really important because, for example, this star is a bit bluish, that one is a bit yellowish and reddish, that depends on the how old the stars are and uh, etc. So I want to have the maximum details in the colors of that star. So try to take a picture that looks like this. If you have something like this, that means that you are doing everything right. So I stayed there almost an hour, well, over an hour taking pictures. And I used the voice command. So if I say cheese, there we go. That means every single 30 seconds I was screaming to my smartphone cheese, smile. So yes, you have to be very patient to do a real star trail. Congratulations, now go back home, take a really nice warm tea and um, be happy about yourself because you did some awesome shots. So let's combine them all together. So I'm gonna just remove this, um, this thing here. Okay then, 
let's combine all the photos to make star trails and uh, I'm gonna use a really cool app from Adobe it's called Photoshop funny enough mix Photoshop mix so let's make a new project device not recent I want to go to the gallery camera and here is the bunch of photos that we did and this one it's the template one uh, so I'm gonna leave it to the last photo I'm gonna add this one okay now let's add another one The fifth one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yay! So, with this image selected, I'm gonna blend it in lightning. If you see that uh, lightning, 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 it's not enough, you can use screen. But I really prefer the lightning, it's more natural, okay? So, let's accept this and select the next one and add it to lightning accept this command go to the next one lightning again accept to the next one land lightning accept the last one you don't really need to do it because it's the last one and let's zoom in so we are starting to have some star trails nice so as you may realize by now um, I can't add more layers on this so I have to combine this in my gallery save to my gallery okay saved get out of here just be patient just be patient. Come on. Oh, shit. Come on. Okay. And let's make a new one. From recent. Yes. This image here. Aha. So that means that we are picking up the last exported image. So let's add from the vice again and again I have to repeat the process because we reach our limit of layers on this map Okay, let's combine everything. Export, save to gallery. And let's repeat the process again. For God's sake. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop here, right here. I don't want to do this anymore. I am bored as hell. Uh, this is a lot of work on the smartphone, honestly. If you have any other app that, that actually can do this easily, please, please leave it on the comments down below, because this is boring. This is annoying, especially that I have a computer just, just over there and um, I can do quit on the computer and uh, it will be faster on the computer and easier I have okay you know what F this let's do it on the computer the results will be the same well before jumping up to the computer I gonna simulate 
like it was supposed to finish okay so I'm gonna add so imagine that you only made about uh, about 10-15 minutes of star trails and the result of the star trails is this so I'm gonna call it a day like that and I'm gonna add I'm gonna add the, the photos with the trees and the foreground clearer it's just to show you how the end result would supposed to be if I had more patience to do it so. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select our template here and there we go. So I'm gonna pick up this layer and once again let's go to blend and let's pass through the lightning. There you go. And now you can also like um, adjust a little bit if you want there we go so I am breaking my patience so I'm gonna show you how you can do this in the computer it's way much easier and way much fast faster okay so I already put all the photos on the computer and already color correct them as you can see here I already color corrected everything and I exported in JPEG already as you can see here so this photo will be our template and watch the stars ah! almost like a time lapse okay so let's open it on Photoshop our template now let's import all the other photos here we go and let's import everything to Photoshop so enter 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 this is gonna take a while Well then, all photos are in. So let's just close the properties panel and select all the photos that we just imported. And I just to to reduce the size of this file, I'm gonna rasterize layers. Boom, and all of them go to lightning. Three, two. One. Ta -da! How awesome is this? <laughs> so I'm gonna group everything, control group, and here we are. And maybe I'm gonna just adjust a little bit, like so. Okay. Nice. And. Uh, like so yes we have a beautiful photo made with a smartphone well everyone thank you very much to watch this video if you learned something, please drop a like. If you have any questions, leave it down below on the comments. And subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I am Miguel. Until next time, see ya. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, this thing of doing smartphone photography for YouTube when I have a really big DSLR just in front of me, it's a bit strange. So I guess that proves that um, it's not the camera that makes a good photographer, but the photographer himself. <laughs>